Welcome to Backyard Bushcraft with MSCR's Outdoor Programs. I'm Justin Schmitz, Maddie rocks on the camera, and today we're gonna build a shelter using found items we find in the woods, okay? So why would we wanna build a shelter? Well, we might wanna just do for fun. It's something to do outside. Maybe you get lost in the woods. It's a great way to know how to build yourself a shelter. Uh, you might do it to keep warm. Uh, so a bunch of different reasons why you might build a shelter, but primarily we're probably gonna be just for fun. Uh, Things we want to look for when building a shelter, uh, we want to, the, the kind of conditions we're looking for, for one, where's the wind coming from? We want to face the opening away from the wind. We want to look for natural shelter places, places that will uh, shelter you from the elements, like underneath trees or maybe behind a hillside, uh, places that will just give you natural shelter from the wind and from uh, any rain or snow that might come down. One thing to note about leave no trace is when we do these kind of things, we find our uh, sticks and limbs and branches out in the woods, we're only gonna use dead and down branches we find out there. We're not gonna cut any live trees or any live uh, sticks or anything like that. We're only using dead stuff so we can let things keep growing. Also, when we're done building the shelter, uh, we're going to disperse everything. We're not gonna leave it out there for other people to find or see. We're gonna make it just like it was when we found it. So we're gonna finish it up. We're gonna throw it all back out. And so let's get to the process. All right, so for the process of building your shelter, we're gonna be, uh, what we're gonna be making is a wedge type shelter. Uh, we're gonna need to find a big long stick. Uh, it's pretty thick, that's gonna be our ridge pole, but a little bit longer than you are tall, anywhere from five to eight feet, maybe 10 feet long. Uh, we're also gonna find two, also two larger sticks that are maybe like three to four feet long, one, and one of them with a fork. And then we're gonna find tons of limbs and sticks that we're gonna use as the ribbing on the side of the shelter. So the first thing we're gonna do, we found our ridge pole here. Okay, it's nice and long, right? And then we have our other two pieces here that we're gonna help build the skeleton of our shelter. So the first thing we're gonna do, is we're gonna put these in the ground. I've got one with a fork, got one that doesn't have a fork. I'm gonna lean them right into each other, just like this, kind of push them in place. Next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put my ridge pole up right on top of those guys. You can see this kind of forms like a wedge or almost like a really oblong pyramid, okay? This is the first step in making this shelter, okay? Next step, we're gonna add ribbing with all the other sticks and branches we found and ribbing along the sides. Okay, for the next uh, step of the process, we're gonna add the ribbing that goes down this shelter. You can see we've already got a little bit of progress done. I'm gonna show you how I've been putting this ribbing on uh, and then after that, we'll move on to covering it with snow. What I'm trying to do is just, towards the end here, I'm just trying to cover in as much of the open spots as possible. All right, so we finished adding as much ribbing uh, as we can to it. Uh, you can see on this side, we even added a lot of little sticks and branches to create a lattice work, because the next step what we're gonna do is we're gonna add snow over the top of it we're going to keep building it up the size over the top of it to create a nice insulative layer okay so i'm going to get started here just by shoveling snow onto the bottom i'm going to work my way up you can see how that's going to work you could also use your gloves to do this all right so we're going to keep doing this till we get it covered and you'll see how it ends up As you can see, we're getting a lot closer, we're getting this thing completely covered with snow. The kind of snow that we have today, there's actually big chunks that come out, which really helps create its own lattice work to help keep the powdery snow on top. This is our finished product. I'm about to test it out by crawling inside and seeing how warm it is. Oh, yeah. And now that we're done with our shelter, we're going to take it down and clean it back up. 